This, this is Brian back with a uh, V chain update. Um, I want to go over this chart here. Some some things are looking pretty decent for V chain as far as the chart goes, but we have some pretty big news going on in the market right now. Um, and I also got some V chain news here to go over with you. Um, hedge up and V chain continue to show enormous growth potential. The article goes on down here to say that. Uh, one of the most important traits of successful cryptocurrency investors is they seek projects that hold potential value. They do a ton of research and look for cryptos with real world use case and practicality. The reason why investing in digital assets for so many individuals is becoming a bit trickier is because of the influx of ambiguous cryptocurrencies, most of which have no roadmap or direction, while a lot of them are intended as rug pull scams. And that's the thing, there's a lot of really, really good projects out there, and uh, there's a lot of these ones, um, geez, you know, and I hate to say it because I, I'm a fan of a few of them, but these meme coins, there must be a couple hundred of them now. If you look on coin market cap and you look at new cryptocurrencies, uh, geez, every single day they're just they're throwing hundreds of them on there. So, but we have uh, V Chain is definitely a a big uh, is a very credible company. Um, says here, however, in 2023, analysts have noted two crypto projects that have considerable potential: Hedge Up and V Chain. Blockchain specialists and whales suggest that both these projects are well positioned to experience considerable growth in this new year and beyond. One of the primary reasons why head up, hedge up, I'm sorry, and vet are geared towards success is thanks to their viable tokenomics and detailed frameworks. Yeah, the white papers they put out, the roadmaps. Uh, I know a little bit about hedge up. Not real familiar with that coin, but very, very, very familiar with V Chain. Uh, how V Chain is looking to become a powerful investment opportunity. I think all of us know that uh, with their tracking uh, capabilities, the things they've done with Nike and Walmart, and uh, they want to, uh, you know, stomp out the uh, the carbon footprint that uh, cryptocurrencies putting on the world you know with the electric use and everything v chain is, is i can't say enough good things about this company you know i've been in crypto four years now and that was the first company that really really grabbed my eyes so but we got some other big breaking news here uh with usdc i want to show you this coin it lost its deep peg uh it's down to 95.58 on coin market cap i'm going to show you the chart here but if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe uh, uh, i would very much appreciate that and every month i'm going to do a giveaway the very last day of the month uh this month i'm going to give away 100 ada and all you got to do is be uh subscribed to the channel to be entered that's it so please hit that subscribe button i'd love to have you here every day i want to show you this usdc chart this is USDC on the daily. You can, uh, this thing uh, has been making big news all day here in the last couple of days, but this DPEG happened right there. You can see it. You know, we can zoom in here a little bit and, uh, and see this thing. It went the whole way down to 82 cents at one point here. So that, uh, that's definitely not good, but right there it is. And it dropped the whole way down here. Now it's reset on uh, the daily RSI, if that really means anything with the stable coins. I, I really don't think so, but uh, went down the whole way to 82 cents. It's pulled the whole way back up here, but what happened was they have, uh, I think it's $3 billion of liquidity tied up. Uh, so that's what caused this. So hopefully they can get things figured out. And actually on the charts here, it's showing uh, that it's back to 98.8. So 98 cents, almost 99. So hopefully it's almost drawn this whole thing the whole way back up. So hopefully we see that peg back pretty soon. But let's get a look at this V-Chain chart. This is V-Chain on the daily. Uh, we had that wedge pattern that uh, unfortunately we lost it. We fell through support here. But V-Chain has found solid support down here right around the two cent range. And it's bouncing uh, if we put a Fibonacci on this thing, it might give you, might give us an idea of where we're at with the pullback. You know, if we go the whole way up on this thing, 
as long as we don't have any more devastating news in the market, you know, I, I really don't see B-Chain breaking this. It's right almost at the 786, which is the last Fibonacci level. If it falls through that, it's coming down to retest these lows over here. But it's found really good support here. You can see all the support back through there. And uh, it, it's got, I think it's sitting at a good spot right now. I really, I don't see it falling any further. I just really don't. If we look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin itself has found solid support down here uh, after that big crash. And one thing I want to point out, a lot of these coins, I'm sorry, let me get rid of this. A lot of these coins, the RSIs are the reset down here on the daily. Whoops, I can't get my arrow to get down there. I apologize. But down here at the bottom of the screen, the RSI, that's the daily RSI. It's at 4 and 1 right now. So when the, when it starts coming back up, that's usually when you'll see, see it's reset here. You can see up here the price, how we had a pop. You, a lot of times as that RSI comes up and gets overextended, is when it has to cool off and come down the other side is where you'll have a, like this one did here, where we have a cool off. But with VeChain also, let's get back to the VET chart. VeChain also, the daily RSI has, has reset here. So you can see down here at the bottom what I'm talking about. The daily RSI is at 3 and 1. So hopefully we get a little pop here. You know, as far as the Fibonacci goes, not any kind of retrace. You know, usually you'll see at least a 50% retrace on these things. Usually a 618, 702 is the, the line in the sand. You get above that and you're looking at a breakout uh, of price. But at least up to that 618 so hopefully we found some solid ground here i'll check in tomorrow it's the weekend here so um we'll see what happens here overnight and in the morning but for now v chain has found solid support right about two cents so everybody have a fantastic night i appreciate you watching the video so very much thank you much